sub you two simply. Oh, no luck here. And today, guys, we have a very exciting video. Guys, I've been looking forward to making this video for a cool minute. But first, I want to ask you guys to check out the channel, subscribe for more insane and maybe, just maybe, godly Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And speaking of thumbs up, you guys, please give this video a thumbs up. But also, we're doing a giveaway today, guys. It's going to be a stupid giveaway, crazy giveaway today, guys. All you guys got to do is make sure you're subscribed, hit that bell, hit that bell, guys. You got to get alerted when we make these new videos. And also, give this video a thumbs up. And post in the comments below, what should the next pack battle be, guys? This is one versus 100, guys. What should the next pack battle be? And what we're giving away is all cards we pull from our dollar to $20 booster packs here, guys. We're giving away all cards we pull. And there are some just dumb packs in there, guys. So just saying, just saying, you're getting all cards we pull. All you guys got to do, thumbs up, subscribe, bing bong, and also post in the comments below. What's the next pack battle? Is it five versus 500? I don't know if Yu-Gi-Oh Yu -Gi -Oh could do a 10 versus a thousand, but maybe a three versus 300. I don't know guys, maybe it's a tin battle. I don't know. Let us know in the comments below. I guess like a value battle. Let us know in the comments below guys. Gorgeous play mat here guys. Shout out to Simple and Lucky Game Shop. We're running a uh, tournament, case tournament soon and we'll be doing some side events for uh, some OTS play mats here. Um, but yeah, you guys, this is gonna be a big, 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 big video. We're gonna be doing the pack battle here, one through 20. We're gonna see if these packs are actually worth it. Um, but it also gave me a chance, guys, just to talk about some of these sets because we're opening up a, a ton of different sets here. Um, this is gonna be uh, very interesting, guys. This is one versus 100. But I wanna go through the sets as we traverse time here. And uh, let's get started, guys. This is a one versus 100 pack battle. First one, guys, this is a dollar booster pack today. Oh, baby. Oh, let's jump right in. This is gonna be fun. I don't think I've opened some of these packs for quite some time, guys, so I'm hoping you guys enjoy it just as much as I do. All right, here we go. First one, $1 booster pack. Um, so we try to keep it, you know, maybe like MSRP, but not really. You know, we're following the market prices because packs go up, packs go down. So our $1 booster pack today is the Legendary Duelist Synchro Storm. This is a fun set, guys. It actually has a card in it that's worth over $100, but it's just been... I guess overprinted at this point. There's just too much of it, guys. There's just too much of it. So um, it has a ghost rare too that's worth $50 to $100. So it's it's nice to see this set. It's not a bad set. It's just, uh, there's just too much of it around. All right, Legendary Duel Single Storm, fresh from a booster box. Can we get a hit, guys? $1 booster pack today. We got the Lyralesk, very popular archetype there. Speedroids, Unknown Synchron, Liberty at last, and a Lyra Lusk Assembled Nightingale. And this is also a shout out to the Legendary Duelist set. This is Synchro Storm. This is the newest one, LED8. That means they made eight of these sets, guys. We have a $2 pack next. $1 pack is uh, chilling around that $1 value for this time. This is a $2 booster pack. I'm just gonna rip the top like that, that's nice. This is a shout out to a very interesting set, guys, that, or concept that Konami is still pushing. But um, I think it started in Europe, and I just don't know. I, I, I think it's much more popular in Europe, but over here, we try. We have some fun with it. It is Speed Duel Arena of Lost Souls. This is actually one of my favorite Speed Duel sets. Uh, I know they made the Battle City box. I was trying to stay away from that for this video. But this is one of the Speed Duel Booster Packs or sets, which they're not really making anymore. They're kind of like, ah, eh, people don't seem to like this too much. And Konami, if you would have put Ghost Rares or Ultimates or higher rarities in here, I just want to say this could have been a very popular product because this product is completely based off old Yu-Gi-Oh. This is, um, what's it called? Duelist Kingdom, guys. The original series. This is the original, like, first 10 episodes and uh, 20 episodes. And I believe Arena of Lost Souls is literally the name of one of the episodes that the cards in here are kind of based off of. So really cool, guys. I think the concept is awesome. Speed Duels itself, ah, it's tough. We got Duel Links. We got Yu-Gi-Oh, was it Sevens? Which is the uh, Rush Duels. So let's see if I get a big hit out of here though. We got Common Charity. And then of course, cards that say Speed Duel are still playable in Master Duel. So good thing Konami did that at least. Uh, Possessed Dark Souls, but of course the other way around is not true. Clown Zombie. Gravekeeper's Ambusher. Look at that guys, pure common booster pack. Wow, okay. That is Arena of Lost Souls. Let's go into our $4 booster pack today. This'll be a fun one. 
So this pack, guys, is uh, it's quite the interesting one. This is Battle of Chaos, guys. Um, I think this is one of the best, newest products Konami's ever made. Just the problem is, is everybody and their mom ordered so much of this. But this is a set that Konami's been talking about for a long time that they wanted to make, where it's reprinting a lot of the older Yu-Gi-Oh! and Yu-Gi-Oh! and Kaiba cards inside. Um, I think it's got five cards each for them inside, and they're very good cards. And Konami's kind of not following a show anymore, so this is what they can do. They can ask us, and we're like, hey, we want to see more cards printed that help our classic duelist, and they're like, okay, because Brains is done, and Konami's not making Rush Duel concepts for newer cards, so here we go. Nordic cards, yeah, there's some Nordic cards in here, too. All right, still no hits, guys. This is a $5 pack here. Um, my team was going through this. They were like, well, there's some packs we really want to show off. And this ended up being one of them. Um, very, very good set. Uh, I really liked it. I think a lot of people did as well. This is called King's Court. Um, it's slowly going up in value. This is Konami's new expansion sets where they had collector cards inside. You call them collector, collector sets. Collector rare kind of replaces ultimate rares. Um, but also in this set, they included god cards. Uh, there is actual... Egyptian god rarities in here um, that we maybe we'll see right now. It's a one in 144 packs. So here we go. All right, all right. So very cool set there. That's that that set is based off of Yugi's cards there in the Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, and whatnot. All right, eight dollar pack this time, guys. I believe the team put another. Duelist pack for you guys here, yes. So this is interesting. This is now taking it back to the Legendary Duelist, guys. Again, another concept that Konami, I feel like, was it was way better than they thought it'd be. The problem with Synchro Storm, which we were talking about earlier, is, is Synchro Storm, I feel like, is just not the most popular classic Duelist. And most of the Legendary Duelists are based off of classical themes. Like one through six, one was Joey, two was Pegasus, three is... Kaiba, four is Mai, five, this is Legendary Duelist five, Mortal Destiny, this is Bakura, six was Yugi. Um, so seven, I'm not gonna remember off the top of my head real quick. But yeah, so it was just based off classic Duelist. Oh, seven is Rage of Raw, it's based off of Raw. <laughs> and then this one we get um, Yugo. All right, Mortal Destiny guys, though, this is a very cool set. Um, big, big evil heroes inside of here. I love the Bakura cards though, guys. Let's see what happens. Evil Heroes, we got Infernal Gainer, Puppets, Dark Fusion, Junk Puppet, and Preda Planning, some Preda Plants. A lot of kind of evil, dark themed cards in this set. Dark Fusion for the heroes there. Number 10 pack, guys, or $10 booster pack. Let's see what we got inside here. Not sure what they put inside this one. Wow, so. Shout out again to the Legendary Duel sets. This is what Konami decided to do because they were so popular is they made a reprint set called Season 1, Season 2. So this is a $10 pack. Uh, pretty crazy because this set itself, the reprint of LED3 is very nice, but the secrets inside of this set were crazy. And of course, the secrets only come from the mini boxes, but still, maybe we can get a Blue Eyes pack today, guys. This pack has been very popular on our live stream. Uh, link will be at the top of the description below, you guys. Um, where we open up packs for you guys and um, we do it live and it's very fun to do. It's a very awesome time. And we should probably be doing a live stream as this video is posted. So check that guys out as well. It'll be a good time. It's over on whatnot. Harpy's Pet Dragon, Pet Baby Dragon, Harpy Lady, Beacon of White, some Kaiba cards, some Galaxies, Black Wings, Malefic Blue Eyes White Dragon, 62 Galaxy again, Harpy Queen. Yo! Yo, are you kidding me? Let's go, first edition, blue eyes, white dragon, ultra rare. Guys, this is one of the biggest hits from the pack. That's crazy. You can actually get this card graded and if it gets a 10, it could be worth hundreds of dollars. That is so awesome. Wow, straight out of the pack. Guys, this is your card. This is your card, I just wanna remind you. This is your card, so. Remember to enter that giveaway, guys, because you are getting a first edition Ultra Rare Blue Eyes White Dragon. This is the LOB art. <clears throat> Shout out to LOB. Um, wow. And there's more hitters in here, guys. That's the cool thing about this pack. We got a really good one already, but let's see. Can we get more Blue Eyes cards? Crossroads Dragon. So now we got 
Akiza, an Akiza card for the ladies. And Red Rose. Red Rose is actually a really good card in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. A lot of decks play it. So very nice. Man, that Blue Eyes White Dragon. I just want to kind of set that out here for a minute. Harpy Conductor. Dark Rose. Harpy's Feather Storm. Nice. Got our pack value on this with just these two cards. Um, very powerful card. Alluring Mirror. Incarnated. Harpy Lady Elegance. And Cyber Angels. Unlucky 13, guys. But we are simply unlucky. So let's see how it goes. Unlucky 13. $13 booster pack. What do we got? I think I let my team decide how this was going to go. Nice. I already got a good idea here. So, this is a big one, guys. This is a really big pack. Probably the biggest gamble pack of all time. This is Battles of Legend Armageddon. This is the set, guys. This is the set where they put the 10,000 dragon, the 10,000 10, printed card. And that card is thousands of dollars. Graded 10. One day, guys, it'll probably be a $10,000 card. <laughs> it just has to be. It just makes sense. So 10,000 dragon today, guys. Let's see if we can make it happen. There's also a cool astral card in here. We're giving away this card. So whatever we get today, guys, if you're getting a 10,000 dragon, it is what it is. It's Darkness Metal Dragon, Dark Steel. That is a cool card though. Uh, definitely a cool card from the set. Getting some pack value back there. Invoked Raijin, actually another good ultra. Salt Black Wings, invoked again. And Salamangrate Sunlight Wolf. Wow, that's actually a very good pack. Getting close to your value back there. I got a $15 pack for this one, guys. $15 booster pack. Woo! We got a 5Ds pack. Okay, so this is Absolute Power Force. And most 5Ds first edition packs are chilling in that $30 to $100 or $50 range or whatever. But today I have an unlimited version straight from a booster box. So chilling more around a $15 booster pack. Um, maybe a bit more, but I'm happy to be able to open it today. This is actually from a booster box at the shop. So I'm glad they put this in here. Uh, we'll, we'll save we'll save the whiff hold on let's see remember guys anything we pull just enter that giveaway it's going to you from these one to twenty dollar packs here temple of the sun reptilian servant meteor flare naga <laughs> core blast reptilians again nice oh fire ants all right you guys 18 dollar pack here what i don't know what's in the 18 dollar pack let's see oh man Oh boy. So another one of our live streams that we've been doing, guys, shout out again to uh, the live stream in the description for whatnot, uh, is Kaiba's Briefcase. And this is probably the most popular pack. So we have it an $18 pack today. This is Legendary Duelist. It's not Legendary Duelist. It is just regular Duelist pack Kaiba, guys. So Legendary Duelist sets are the reprints of Duelist packs. This is the original Duelist pack Kaiba. Uh, unlimited edition, obviously. First edition, just stupid amounts. Um, first edition boxes, actually. I saw one sell for thousands of dollars the other day. But yeah, guys, this is a very fun set. Um, very popular set because of all the Duelist packs, this is one where they actually loaded it with ultimate rares. Really. And at the same time or similar time, they came out with Duelist pack Yugi, which was for starters in a... And it's, it had no ultimates. It was, it was just ultras. And it was like... How can that set even compare to this? And it really couldn't, guys. This set is way too good. And um, I'm just excited to be able to open it, guys. This set is so fun. So ultimate rares and cards uh, inside. Our ratio is usually about 1 in 50 to 1 in 75 for those ultimates. So let's see if we can get one today. Come on. Looking for a big hitter pack, guys. Remember, we're giving away whatever we pull right now. Just enter that giveaway, guys. Post in the comments. Subscribe. Here we go. Lord of D. Judge Man. Polymerization, good common pack. Oh man, I thought it was blue eyes. Oh, that's the hit spot. Oh. All right, you guys, now finishing off for our one to $20 packs here. Again, whatever we pull, we're giving away here. This is number 20, guys. This is a big pack, $20 booster pack. What is it? Let's talk about it. I think we know. One of the most valuable Yu-Gi-Oh sets ever printed on release in the following couple weeks. It is first edition Toon Chaos. One of my favorite sets, another Chaos set. I think we've had a few today. Um, man, oh man, oh man, guys. This is big. This is big. So 
Konami made this set and they were like, by the way, guys, we're making this like tune set. And everyone's like, ooh, tunes. But it had chaos as well. And actually a lot of fun cards inside. Um, and people did just not, we just didn't get enough of this set because we all thought, uh, we don't know. I love tunes, so I bought a good amount, but it was a, it was a risky set for the shop still. But it ended up exploding, guys. This set straight exploded. And I believe now, like we're opening it as a $20 booster. Boxes are $500 to $750 or whatever it is. And it is crazy. It is only a couple years old. Um, and you have collector rays inside. Stardust, Black Luster Soldier, Toon Black Luster Soldier. Blackbuster being my favorite card. And the other day, guys, on a live stream, in one box, we pulled two collector rares back to back. Never have I ever done that before. It was crazy. Let's see if we can get some magic again today. The hit should be in the middle. Here we go. Blackluster Soldier, Sacred Soldier, Masked Hero Goka, Pot of Desires. See, just good rares in here, because why not? Masked Hero Blast. Witch of the Black Forest, shout out to those classic nostalgic players. Elemental Solid, go! Chaos Valkyrie, pretty super rare, guys. Actually, a very nice super rare card from this set. That is numbers one through 20, guys. We're giving away, again, all of the cards we just pulled. Just remember to subscribe, give this video a like, and post in the comments below what's the next pack battle you want to see. Now, for these next packs, though, these are going in the Simply and Lucky Collection. We had to uh, travel far and wide to get some of these guys. This is gonna be crazy. We have a $30 booster, a $60 booster, and a $100 booster. You guys are probably thinking, what the heck are those? Let's find out. So for our $30 booster, we had to use some bigger packaging here. This is gonna be fun. We have a blister pack of dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. So, how is a freaking LOB pack a $30 booster pack? Let's talk about it for a second. Basically, Konami tried, and guys, this pack can go for more than $30. I just wanted to get something as a $30. This, this pack can sell for $50 too. But anyways, this is a reprint pack that, pack that Konami decided to do. Um, man, 2005, I believe they came out with the reprint set of... Um, a collector binder that I'm gonna remember the name of. It is called Legendary Collection, right? It's literally Legendary Collection. And it was the binder version, not the game board version. So the binder version, I believe, came out in 2005, which had the reprint packs of these. And then a game board version came out in, I think, 2008 or 2010 that had the reprint set again. So very interesting, though, that we got these classic packs. But Konami has not done something like this for a long time. So these packs are slowly just rising up in value because... Yes, it is a newer printing of old cards, but it is still now old cards before 2010 or whatever. So let's see what we get. This is, by the way, this pack's actually even a little more fun. This is one of those Walmart mystery packs or whatever, includes one booster pack plus two rares and eight commons. So technically we have a pack within a pack. Let's see what that mystery pack is here. So cool. So freaking cool. So they gave us a super rare Shadow of the Six Samurai. Very nice. Wow, are we gonna get multiple foils? That's awesome. Constellar Belt. Little Pendulum Reborn. Just kidding. Cyber Phoenix, okay. Little Swordsman. MRD, Unlimited Common, guys. MRD, Metal Raiders. Okay. Little Pendulum Hull, Totems. Wow. I did not expect to get a MRD common out of there. That's pretty cool. Cool Cyber Phoenix. Shout out to the Six Samurai goes. Shout out to the Six Sams, guys. Shout out to the Six Sams. All right. Now for the LOB booster pack, guys. Here we go. Reprint set again. Reprinted a few times. This looks like it's a Euro print. It looks a little, a little bit darker here. Let's find out. Give it to us. Kaiba! All right, guys. So as we're opening our Legend of Blue Eyes pack, one of the cameras decided to... Uh, obliterate itself so I've brought it back but um we are literally in the middle of a blue eyes pack and you know what I've left it on screen the whole time so I'm just saying I set it down immediately as this happened maybe we'll show a quick fast forward into where we are now so the pack has never left the screen guys this is LOB 
<laughs> so we just had, we got Kumu Toku and Beaver Warrior going into a Silver Fang. Wow. Wow. Ultra rare left arm of the Forbidden One, guys. Un freaking believable. Ultra rare from an LOB pack. So guys, this is why I really like blister packs because you can't weigh them, you can't search them. It's a blister pack. I know somebody's like, I can't, but I'm, usually you can't, okay? <laughs> Very cool, guys. Look at the centering on this. Legend of Blue Eyes, right arm of the Forbidden One. Very beautiful card, you guys. That is a LOB mint condition card on Believable. Dark King of the Abyss, Beast Fang, Spike Cedra, and Trial of Nightmare. That's one of our censored cards, Trial of Hell. So very cool to see that. Wow. Guys, that was a normal ultra rare card. I just want to say that was just really close to being a blue eyes, dark magician, red eyes. Very cool, guys. That was so fun. And you know what? I'm going to throw this in the giveaway. I'm going to throw this in the giveaway. Left arm of the forbidden one, guys. It is officially in the in the giveaway today, guys. LOB card. So I'm adding it in. I know I said the one to $20 packs, but here we go. Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack coming in there. Ultra rare left arm of the forbidden one. Guys, please give this video a thumbs up. Please follow, subscribe to Simply Unlucky. Follow the whatnot if you can too, guys, for our live streams. But also just thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell. Let's go. Post in the comments. What's the next pack battle gonna be? All right, $60 pack, guys. Is a big one. 60 bucks. Let's see what we got. They had, I think, a couple decisions for this one. What did they end up deciding? Another blister. That's a good thing. Ancient Sanctuary in the house. Yo, love it, guys. This is a Ancient Sanctuary blister pack. Very rare to find this, guys. This is the 2003 printing of the set. This is a blister pack. It's unlimited. It's not first edition. That would be crazy. I don't even know if they made first edition uh, blisters. Somebody's in the, somebody's probably got one of those somewhere. But this, we're going to leave it at a $60 value today. And I'm glad we have a blister. Let's pop it open. In ancient Egypt, there existed a force so powerful it had to be locked away for millennia. Now one boy has released the power. It's time to do. <laughs> Here we go, guys. This is ancient sanctuary. It's time. Unlimited booster pack. Here we go. Let's pop it out. Heart of the cards. Guide us. Ancient Sanctuary, guys. This is from 2003. I'm going to have to take a whiff. I am going to have to take a whiff of this. Here we go. Here we go. Heart of the cards. Guide us. Wow. Wow. 2003 guys that is absolutely incredible absolutely incredible here we go this is ancient sanctuary can we get a hit we have soul reversal aswan apparition judgment of the desert absorbing kid from the sky grave protector all right all right Wall of Revealing Light, that's a big common. Classic common there. Rocket Jumper. Monster Gate, very good card. And Night Assailant, wow! Big, big commons from this set. Holy guacamole. Night Assailant, they, I think they had to, did they even change the effect? Are they still limiting him to one because he has an infinite combo with himself? Monster Gate, Wall of Revealing Light. Guys, these are very big cards from back in the day. That's awesome. Love it, guys. Absolutely love it. Adding those to the giveaway for you guys today. And last but not least, here we go. The $100 booster. You guys ready? You guys ready? Yo yo! First edition Legacy of Darkness. Man, $100 team? Seems like it's worth more than a hundred. Man, I don't know if I've ever opened one of these before. Legacy of Darkness, first edition, guys. Wow. I don't want to open this. Are you kidding me? Oh, but we got to. We got to. 
Man, I just want to look at it, keep the seal, put it on the shelf behind us, man. This is crazy. In a blister. Guys, this is like a minty, fresh blister. Wow. This looks gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. All right, Legacy of Darkness, first edition. You guys ready to jump in? This is going to be insane. So many big hitters. So many, I mean, $500,000 cards with graded, you know, 9 to 10 on them. So let's see what happens. This is Legacy of Darkness First Edition. Man, it's been a while. Our $100 booster today coming straight out of a blister, guys. We ready? Are we ready? Our $100 pack. Just one more time. Oh, crazy. I think First Edition, First Edition Legacy of Darkness was what? Is that 2003? Can we get a hit, guys? Can we get a hit? This is big. Fang Shang Mir. Patrician of Darkness. Man, oh man, we probably need some of these for the Simple and Lucky Collection. This is good. A faint Plan. Classic cards, guys. Patrician's a big, big zombie back in the day. Smoke Grenade Thief First Edition Original Print. Wow. Did they limit this or ban some combo that had to do with this card? When this equip card's activated and destroyed due to card effect, look at your opponent's hand, select one card from it and discard it to the grave. So you use this on Gear Freed the Iron Knight. That was the old combo. Gear Freed says whenever something's equipped to him, destroy it. So boom, look at your opponent's hand, discard. Guys, you ready? Oh, the dragon's bead. Oh man. Oh man. Whoo. Crazy guys, absolute craziness. The blisters today, man. I'm glad we got an ultra rare earlier though. That was pretty sweet and the blue eyes. Secret of the Bandit, the Hunter with the Seven Tools, Lizard Soldier, and Disappear. I love that Disappear. Wow, guys. I'm gonna set these boys aside. That was incredible. That was a first edition Legacy of Darkness pack from the blister. Very awesome, guys. Fun, awesome video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That was a big, big pack battle, guys. Man, oh man, one versus 100. It's funny, think about the cards from the $100 pack. I mean, every common mint condition like that can be worth five to $20 or whatever. So, very crazy, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. This video was truly an experience, you guys. Remember to join the giveaway. Give away all those cards we pulled, except for that last pack, basically. And um, subscribe for more epic videos, guys. This is this is insane, absolutely insane. What did we get there? We got that left arm of Exodia. Subscribe for more insane, maybe even godly videos, guys. And uh, remember, check out those links at the top of the description below. And simply unlucky. Signing out.